Greetings everyone, this is Mia, Nina, Heli and Dano speaking and today we are going to show you how to go through the Basecamp project man management app and website which we will present to you. We're gonna go in a step-by-step -step process and uh, welcome. This first site you're seeing right here, the page shows the main aspects the, the website offers. Initially we are going to go, which is to the essence of the problem, which is starting a new project. So you click on new project and this little pop-up window is going to appear. You give your name to the project, so we're going to say name example number one. So. I'm sorry, example, very good. That's teamwork. <laughs> and then you go to add a description or details. So you're going to say, for example, in our case, Navicray Web Course Design, just to have a difference from the other projects. Then, this is a very important part because here you can determine who can actually access your project management tools and edit them or simply view them. You were talking initially of your team, in our case, in this case what you do is add the email addresses for your team, I'm proceeding to add my partners, and then in the other uh, tab with the client, this is the very important one because the client can actually have access to the project management tool. Uh, having several limitations that's up to you whether they um, can modify all the information you were adding or not by the way you can find uh, quick videos about how to work with clients within the website uh, base camp so that is not an issue after you're done with that which we're not going to do right now you go ahead and click on start the project but and you're going to come to the main interface now this is the main interface pretty handy pretty pretty as you can see and uh, very simple indeed and the first thing you're going to see, uh, remember, please, there you can watch quick videos about how the projects work. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that, always handy. Remember that you can go to the upper right section of the screen where you can actually invite more people for your team or for the client, as we already saw. We're not going to do that yet uh, because we already have all the people here. So we're back to the project. Um, you are going to go first, anything, to the discussions tab. You can type any kind of message. Example message number one. And you can, sorry, number two, <laughs> and you can type whatever you want to say. Uh, what do you think about this, for example? And to this, when you post this message, depending on who is going to be notified and how, via email or simply via the project, you can have your other partners making any kind of discussion or comment in whatever it is you say. That on the first case, of course, you can edit, delete, copy, or move to another section or even to other project, I think. <laughs> You go back to our project and uh, of course in the main interface you're going to have some last updates. Of course this always appears which is also very handy especially when there's lots of people working at the same time or when you, got, when you have to catch up with a deadline. The second tab we're going to see to do t today sorry, is the to-do list. You can start adding any kind of add a to-do list for example talk to somebody or whatever the case is. In this case we're going to say call the manager Nina. Yes, remember as always there's a tutorial videos and you can save of course and start doing it. Yes, you can say a specific name, you can assign to a specific person, in this case the manager, you can determine the deadline, the due date, whatever, and of course if you have any file to attach or whatever, that is it. Uh, after that we're going to go to the third file, I mean sorry, to the third tab which is file adding to this project again, you can add any kind of file. Of course, also select it either from your computer or Google Docs. Please do, f do remember, which I forgot to say before, this website is linkable to your Google Drive account. And of course, every single thing you do within this website, you can choose who to notify. In this case, we can notify um, the, all the members of the team of the working team. <coughs> then you can go to a text document tab in which pretty much you can take any kind of note, right? Whatever you, it comes to your mind, you want to say, for example, making a list. Oops list of items to inquire about forgive my spelling and you say I don't know one uh, what reference to material three three food for for <laughs> books Yes. And you can keep on going. Of course, this is not structured anyhow, so you can go ahead and do whatever kind of style you want. Of course, you can also assign bullets, you can number, and you can, of course, go. Okay. 
remember, no, don't forget to save the document, whatever it is that you're using, for further reference. We go and before you can write on the document, you have to click edit this document again. Yeah, exactly. If you want to write on it again after editing for the sake for the first time, you gotta go ahead and click on edit, and then you're going to have the tab to button change to save. So we're gonna go back. We're not gonna save any more changes. And finally, which is one of the most important here, you can determine for your calendar what are the depending on which is the week you're going to use. Yes, if it is for example the current month, which is February in our case, or the next whatever you can add a new event. There's always a tab to learn more how to do stuff. There is a calendar settings where you can determine colors, who can see calendar, etc. And uh, you for example click on any date suppose we want to do something on tomorrow Saturday so we say new event when how long was it gonna last email it to who so remember here you just type the beginning of any of the member names <coughs> and you can determine a reminder in this case we can say one day before at whatever time right and of course you can write a title in this case what we want to do tomorrow is rest rest in <laughs> at any time at 12 at 12 um, right perfect so you add this event and you go ahead and do that you send the email and we're done with that yes you go back to the project and then let us show of course here shows the upcoming events along with all the project updates and let us show you a very important feature which is you go up up here to the calendar and here you can see the calendar <laughs> You can see the calendar with all the events you have for all the projects you have. This is a very general one. It is not depending on the project, but on every single one of the things you're doing. Okay, that's important to know. You can also you can also read the people. You can also check out. Sorry for that. You can also check out the people that are in the team. In this case, a squirrel or anything, and you can find out what is the kind of update you have done. And finally, a feature which we still have not showed you. You go back to the projects tab, you can check the catch up tab, top right corner, please don't forget this one. You click on this one and you're going to see every single thing that has been done in recent times. <laughs> like, yeah, this was our first try, so there's lots of random funny stuff, but we were trying to, and that's the way you learn, you know, in, in many ways, drinking booze or whatever it is we were talking about is the way to practice and learn how to use it, okay? So I think that will be up for now. We really strongly recommend that you guys take your, give yourself some time to browse and skim over what the project management uh, website Basecamp has to offer and after that you will be able to have a very handy free application to use. Thank you very much and if there's any question you wish to ask, please don't hesitate to contact me. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.